Hello everyone, my name is Kasia Jamros and I am Conscious Life and Leadership Coach and I teach self-love and conscious leadership. And today I want to talk to you about fear. Why? Because it is one of the most powerful showstoppers disabling us to pursue what is dear to us. So let's start with dismantling fear first. Fear is an emotional response to a perceived threat Either it's real or induced by our thoughts, which then alters our perception of reality, changes our brain function and impacts our behavior. It makes us hide, run away or freeze, initiating flight or fight responses. And the main purpose of fear is to keep us safe. Therefore, anything new that comes our way is perceived and labeled as danger, yet success and our dreams don't come true without a dose of fear and failure. Failure is our teacher who auto-corrects us on our path. Fear clarifies the meaning of what we truly want. See, both teaches us to withhold and withstand the uneasiness that comes with them. Well, only when we are truly dedicated to what we set to pursue. So, few facts about fear. Everything you fear exists in the known. Fear only exists in your thoughts. Unknown cannot cause you fear because fear arises from thoughts and thoughts are always in the realm of known. Fear is relative and it does not exist on its own. Your mind is not able to produce anything that is totally unknown because you can only relate to the possibility of losing the known, so then what you're really fearing is, is the loss of the known. And having courage is to have the passion for the unknown, to step outside of the familiarity and to have a love affair with unpredictable and unexpected. And to know the difference between actually knowing and understanding. So now remember, when you feel stuck by fear, it simply means you care about something dearly and you are reaching out for your deepest desires. The stronger your reaction is, the closer you are moving towards what you truly want. Nothing ever happens in the status quo of the comfort zone. So stepping out of the comfort zone, yes, it will feel messy, uncomfortable and somewhat chaotic, but you are pioneering your path forward. The way to overcome this uneasy feeling is to keep moving with it and acknowledging all those feelings as a sign of significance of your choices. And lastly, look, nobody can promise you that what you want will turn out exactly the way you want it. Nobody can predict how, where or when. However, I can tell you that whatever you want, it is worth pursuing and you are worthy of having it. So next time the fear shows up, I suggest you to change the context. And instead of saying, well, I really want it, but I'm so scared that I will never get it. Ask yourself, what would I do if fear was not a factor? And by answering this question, you will see your truth about what you want in life. When you take fear out of the equation, you will connect to your inner truth. Only then you can see and hear what truly matters and what is worth fighting for. See, for me today, fear tastes like an adventure.